Guys, it's the time of the year that we need to start doing some of the things that we don't really want to do because they're not flashy. Uh, so right here, you see uh, all of this green front yard of mine. This is very large. I don't know exactly. I've never actually, surprising, but I've never actually measured it to see how big it is. I'm going to guess that it's in that 10 to 15,000 square foot range. I don't know. Maybe I should map it out at some point and figure it out. Uh, but in any event, it's hard, it's big, and it's on a big slanty hill, so I can't take, uh, I can't take like a riding mower or anything like that on it. Uh, this year, 2022, I upgraded, you see up the hill, somewhere up there, there it is, I don't know, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's the 25-inch Greenworks uh, battery mower, it's one of the widest uh, push uh, battery mowers. Uh, on the market i think it's the biggest one right now i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure that's the biggest one they're the widest dick i bought that so that i could cut this hill down roughly 30 percent faster in less time than using my 21 and 22 inch mowers i've got a few 21 inch mowers and then my slightly bigger toro 22 inch um, but anyway, so over the past like day and a half or so, I've cut all of this down. This is a little bit harder for me to get done because I've got little kids up in the house. So I have to come down and do patches and then come back up and make sure that everything's okay. Uh, you know, of course, I set them up so that it, it's going to be okay. But you got to, as a parent, you got to check anyway. So anyway, this spot right here grows gangbusters for me because it's over the top of my septic. So that, even if I just let everything go for like a month, I can always hack it back down. But if this spot doesn't get cut every 10 days or so, it gets to the point where nothing is going to cut it down well. It grows crazy. But anyway, so I cut all of this down and over the top of that hill on the other side over there, it's kind of a weedy area close to our property line up there. So I cut everything down mostly as a fire break and it kind of gives us a little bit of, uh, it pushes the weed pressure off. Uh, further away from the house but uh, here's I don't know, to get back to my point here is these are the things that are not flashy like nobody gets excited about trimming the outer edges of their property line but man it needs to be done because if we don't do it these outer edges if you live in fire zones uh, for one it brings man I'm all <laughs> I just walked up I'm out of shape man uh so all of this sort of area you know this is all rough brush uh come fire season this stuff gets brown and i don't want it close to the property so i cut it down not only that but i don't treat it up here for weeds i don't kill weeds i don't here i'm hiking up a hill sorry i'm gonna be huffing and puffing i don't kill weeds and i don't put pre-emergent down it's just not necessary but i do trim it i mean look at all of this what is it? I don't know. I'm not one for uh, weed or field brush identification, but there's tons of it up here. It needs to be cut down. And when you cut it down, the entire property looks so much better. Take some time, but especially when we're not irrigating, we can cut it all down and keep the weeds, keep the big weeds kind of uh, suppressed a little bit because many of them are annuals. Oh, I got to stop hiking the hill when I film these videos. Anyway, all of the annuals, annuals they want to grow up and eventually seed. So uh, I don't want them to grow up like stocky, super tall, and seed sporadically. So I keep cutting them shorter. It just looks so much better. Now, up here, I haven't cut this yet. I'm going to have to catch my breath, but... I'm going to go ahead and grab my greenworks down there and spend about 45 minutes to cut this down. And usually, usually it's only spring that I got to cut this area because eventually things start uh, kind of browning out and stop growing by kind of mid-June. Certainly by July, it's just straight up brown. And if everything is cut down nicely during the springtime, then everything looks brown but manicured throughout the summer and the fall. So that's the test today. See you later, guys.